So, <laughs> we got some more spoilers out here in these streets. No, let me, let me in. What is good, y'all? It is your boy, Sada Rajan. Go keep it a little bit soft moment, moment y'all. You know, I also just woke up. But uh, we got some more spoilers. And go ahead. Let me just keep these hands things. Because people are going to be mad, but yet excited all at the same time. But hey, people want to see change. All right, that's almost say from how I've been reading things. People want to see change, and there's a lot of change that we have never seen coming in the manga. So let's get it started with the panel that we got. I'm just gonna throw it up somewhere. Maybe I'll blur myself out. Everybody blur myself right here. We have Vegeta right here coming in, crash landing in. But no, because we already had a spoiler telling this man, uh, you know, Goku, aka Gakura, aka idiot, to get on out the way. It's time, Vegeta's time to shine, and. He's doing something that I didn't think he was going to be able to do since Moro had all his crystals. He's using for spirit vision. Didn't know that was going to work, but I'm guessing due to freaking Moro's uh, substantial size, it can, or he won't abruptly really notice it, but he probably is noticing it, but just isn't caring. All he is is focused on Goku, because, you know, he's Moro, he's evil, Goku, he's good, time to... Let me just put all my focus and attention on this dude right here. Like, y'all, y'all ain't nothing. But, hey, he's about to learn to regret that as we speak. Because, you know, Vegeta's about to do some clutch stuff coming up. But, Goku's over here still trying to get to Moro. You know, Moro gets his, his little scrawny little hands on him. Even though his hands are actually really freaking big. But that's besides the point. He gets his hands on Goku. You think Goku's about to actually be able to, like, break through, break through his hands? Because, you know, he's Master Ultra Instinct. But lo and behold, I think Moro is siphoning out all his energy. He's trying to suck Goku dry. And without his energy, he can't really tap into the technique known as Ultra Instinct. Because I think his energy is on top of that, you know, having no energy in your body means hell you think you're gonna do there's nothing you're gonna be able to do vegeta's is, vegeta's is noticing this he's like what are we gonna do and he gets the bright idea you know he's looking at his four spirit vision i have the best idea ever i'm pretty sure in this panel he sees freaking goten and uh trunks coming through or someone poses the idea to him that hey that's it we'll give goku all, all of our energy and then some Vegeta is forming the literal Genki-dama out here in these streets. What? <laughs> he's about to amass a spirit bomb, but it's just no ordinary spirit bomb. It's a spirit bomb he's about to freaking infuse into Goku via four spirit vision. He's about to give him the amassed energy that he's taken from the, uh, the tower, from the people that are still there, the Z fighters. Maybe there's another panel that we don't have. Maybe some of the people of Earth, maybe not. The world may never know. But off in the distance, we get a small tab panel that freaking Boo, I'm gonna call him Boo Kai, cause you know, he's Boo and a Kai all at the same time, is getting energy from Oob. We got a panel with Oob, guys, what's, what's going on here? All that's going down. More thing he done one. Goku over here looking all over, over here behind him. Man, what the hell? What, what's that bright light back there? It's the Genki Dama, boy. The Genki Dama! And Vegeta says, all right, Goku, this is the last time I'm going to help you. All right? This is the last time. Here you go. Have all this energy. Have all this amassed energy right here, bro. Make this work. If you don't, well, we're screwed. All right? There's nothing else we can do. Goku uses to the best ability. We go over here to all these other panels that I revealed yesterday. This man forms the Susano. We go panels and panels on top of panels in. Goku freaking takes the cake. The Vegeta. Guys. The panel. This manga does this ain't the end. I think we're going to get a 67. This can't be it. This is not the end. We're going to have one last manga problem. One, unless we're just missing panels. We have to have one last manga, bro. That's going to be like the closure to this this beautiful freaking uh this beautiful arc right here. <sighs> oh, we can't we can't let this alone. Goku get his boom. Big old thumbs up right there. We done won this, boys. And just like that, I think we don't really even need to read the manga, bro. We probably already get the gist of what everything that's about to happen, bro. We got everything we need. We just gotta wait for the uh, the uh, the translation dub to come out for, with that, and you know we're gonna just read that. Don't know if I'm gonna read it on the channel, but hey, it is what it is. I just know, hey, okay, Vegeta's not on the dumps yet. He's not on the dumps yet. 
I'm gonna end it off there. Give me your thoughts. Give me how y'all feel they, they they approached this. Do y'all feel like they did something good or they did something bad? How do you feel about freaking Vegeta forming the Genki Dama and then fusing it with the Goku's body to give him that abrupt amount of energy to form the Goku Susano to take the cake? Tell me how y'all feel about that. Because honestly, the, the way to make it sound, Ultra Instinct at non-full power is not invincible, which I, I like. So... Like I said, leave me your comments, drop a like, give me your input, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Deuces.